The Dockers had a frustrating start to the 2023 season, losing by 15 points to St Kilda. Justin Longmuir joins me now. Justin, welcome. Where did it go wrong on Sunday? Uh, g'day, Ryan. Uh, yeah, it went wrong in a few spots, but I think most of all, and the biggest one to come out of the review was our mid-four connection um, and making the most of our entries. I think um, after half time, we had 40 entries for two goals, and that's not going to get it done. So, um, yeah, we need to tidy that up. What did you make of your forward line mix, and do you think you'll make changes for that this week? Oh, we'll have to have a look at it. Um, and, and like I said, our, our mid forward connection wasn't great, and a little bit was out on, on the deep, deeper forwards and the options they provide. But there was a fair bit of it on the, uh, the players up the ground delivering it inside 50, not giving them guys a chance. So, um, yeah, we'll need to work on that this week. Your thoughts on Nat Fife's performance up forward? Oh, there's definitely um, room for improvement and I don't think um, you know, he reached the heights he did over the, the pre-season. So there's a bit of work to do, but I mean, we can make life a little bit easier for him as well with um, some of the delivery. So um, you know, put him in the same boat as some of our, our other um, key forwards and you know, we need to try and help him out as much as we can. Peter Sumich did his player ratings in the West. He gave both Fifey and Luke Jackson a 2 out of 10. Do you think that was fair? Oh, yeah, I don't take too much notice of that, but, um, you know, we had some of our players that were down on, on their performances and, you know, like I've already said, the, the deeper forwards um, probably didn't have the output they would have liked or we would have liked and there's plenty of things we can do to you know, help them get into the game and impact the scoreboard a bit more. What about Michael Walters? Is he ready to return? Uh, we'll have to have a discussion tomorrow about Sonny. Uh, obviously made a, a good return in the, in the waffle, but played limited minutes. So, yeah, we'll discuss tomorrow about um, his build, um, whether that's AFL this week or he needs more minutes. North Melbourne looked pretty good. A brilliant debut for Harry Sheasel. Would you consider putting work into a second gamer? Oh, I think based on the performance on the weekend, we'd have to. Um, you know, we don't really look at the age. We look at performance and... I think it was 34 possessions and provided a lot of runoff halfback and, and elite delivery. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have to put some work into him. Griffin Logue returns this week. What kind of reception do you think you'll receive from the crowd and the players? Uh, yeah, not sure. I know some of our players are, are close with him, but you know, hopefully once um, you know we cross that white line, he's an opposition player, and you know we work hard to make him defend and, and limit his impact. How much intel can he provide the ruse on what you do in your setup? I can definitely offer a little bit. Um, you know, he's obviously at the club for my first three years of, of me being coach, so he knows the way we play and can give him a little bit of intel. But yeah, how much that helps is to yeah to be decided, I suppose, Saturday night. The Kangaroos Saturday night at Optus Stadium, Justin. Best of luck. Thanks, Ryan.